to be prepared to move quickly if Congress uh, uh, passes the law. If it happens, we'll move as quickly as we can. Uh, uh, and it would be a great thing for the country. How will that work? Um, could you put a little flesh on that in terms of we go out to all the people that own or are using Spectrum, I don't want to use the word squatting, uh, that are using Spectrum, uh, and say, do you want to, what do you think? Do you want to throw your, throw your Spectrum into the pool and see if put it on eBay? Yeah. So, uh, so one is we've already started some proceedings that will create a framework for this kind of two-sided auction that we're talking about. Uh, uh, um, uh, liberalizing the spectrum rules so that broadcast spectrum can be used uh, for global broadband, allowing broadcasters to share spectrum because uh, broadcasters can share a channel uh, in a market. Uh, the next step would be to develop the auction rules uh, and the process in an open, transparent way and, and get it going. That's great. Are you familiar uh, with a company, SyncBack, which has um, actually the National Association of Broadcasters and the Consumer Electronics Association have invested in and basically allows a broadcaster to send its signal out um, essentially via the internet in a local way with a sliver of spectrum. <laughs> I'm going to get familiar with that. Okay. Uh, but the, listen, what's happening on the technology side is just incredible. We have in broadcasting um, you know, a, a, a set of allotments that made sense in the 20th century when it happened. Uh, uh, a checkerboard of six megahertz channels around the country, very limited in use. Um, the truth is that uh, even though that approach doesn't make sense for the 21st century, um, it worked well in the 20th century. You know, we, um, we commercialized uh, our spectrum here better and faster than any other country. Uh, it helped create uh, a strong broadcast industry, a strong content industry, one of our most important exports. Uh, it's all good news. You know, the reason I mentioned the innovator's dilemma concept in my remarks is I think it's, it's, it's part of the struggle that we have as a country. Um, some of the things that made us market leader in the global economy in the 20th century are exactly the things that pose strategic challenges for us in the 21st. Uh, our spectrum policies are, are in that category. And so none of this is uh, in any way meant to say that uh, uh, broadcasting uh, um, uh, uh, anything negative about broadcast, it's really not the point. It's just that we have a disruptive new technology in the market that we have to take advantage of for our economy. Uh, and we're very, very lucky because we have a solution that simply says, let's bring market incentives into this spectrum and let the market decide uh, what the best use of the spectrum is. I think the evidence is pretty clear that the value of it uh, in contiguous blocks from the broadband is very high. When you say